I love being in front of choirs. I love making music with other people and collaborating and exploring together. Bean Gokharin has been a student of mine since his master's degree three years ago and came from England to study choral conducting and his growth has been monumental. The decision to pursue a master's degree in choral conducting was a significant one for me and my family. The reality is that without the support of the Brem Endowed Fellowship in Choral Conducting, we wouldn't have been able to come and I wouldn't have been able to complete my master's degree. When students know that they have the opportunity to come to the University of Michigan and work with our faculty, and that this program offers them the financial support to allow them to focus on their studies, I have many instances where I absolutely know that that is the reason those students chose to come study with me and my colleagues at the University of Michigan. Scholarships really do make all the difference. The Orpheus Singers is considered the SMTD's lab choir for the graduate choral conducting studio to be able to practice our rehearsal strategies, practice our gesture and practice our communication on the podium. Skip back real quick to measure 22 and 23. Might just hear tenors and basses. Dr. Rogers' role in the Orpheus Singers is predominantly to provide feedback for us as conductors. Ah uh man, -huh, bum bum bum, stay with us. And I release the sound out. Uh -huh. Let the sound ring in your release. Amen. And let's work that out in our lesson tomorrow, yes. just that ending to get you more comfortable. My experience of studying with Dr. Rogers has honestly been transformative. Everything that he does from a, a conducting and a teaching perspective is always about the music. Yes. space. Enjoy the space but not too big. It's all about how can we embody the music and get the most out of it. Think about moving the airs to the release. <laughs> 